In November 2022, almost exactly a year ago, Radio Master announced their range of external 2.4 GHz Express LRS modules. And I reviewed the range of modules and I've been using them on my long range wings with great success. And following extensive research and working closely with the Express LRS team, Radio Master have officially launched this Bandit series. It's a range of external 915 MHz ELRS RF modules with all the benefits of ultra long range performance that comes with 915 MHz. And the range includes a couple of new matching receivers as well. Now it's mighty chilly and frosty here in the UK so I haven't had a chance to take these for a spin yet. So this will be my initial on the bench first look review of the Bandit RF modules. And if past Radio Master performance is anything to go by, I suspect these will be fantastic. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Just like the Ranger RF series, the Bandit range consists of three external modules. This CNC case top of the range module and a smaller micro module are designed to fit any radio with a JR module slot like the TX16S or Boxer. And there's a nano module that'll fit something smaller like the Radio Master Zorro and Pocket transmitters. Now all of these are flashed with ELRS 3.3.1. And although these aren't directly supported by the current version of the Express LRS configurator, that will be coming very soon. So let's have a closer look at the features and the prices on these. All three of these modules are 915 MHz with a 1 watt output that operate with packet rates up to 200 Hz. Now this may seem a lower packet rate compared to the 1 kHz that's available on the 2.4 gigahertz modules, but these operate on a much lower frequency, which has got significant advantages for long range, where packet rate in reality is less important. So this is the flagship module that's in this nice CNC machined aluminium case, finished in a sort of gunmetal grey. Now, one watt ELRS modules can get quite warm, so this case will act as a heat sink, but it does actually have a cooling fan built into here as well. And as always with Radio Master, this is beautifully made and it just feels like a top notch product. There's a high contrast OLED screen with a button joystick to navigate the menus and a couple of programmable LED illuminated buttons here. And there's an accelerometer built in here, so this screen will automatically blank when it goes upside down when you're not looking at it, which is a neat feature. On the bottom, let's just take that antenna off for a minute. On the bottom here, there's a USB-C connector for flashing firmware, and it means you can power this from an external USB power pack. And this also supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you can flash it wirelessly as well, which is my preferred way of doing it. There's also this XT30 connector on here if you want to power this from an external LiPo, anything between 2 and 4S. Remember these 1 watt modules are quite power hungry and they can drain the internal batteries on your radio quite quickly so that's why they provide these external power options. Now if you've got a few Tarba radio that supports Crossfire they include this CR CRSF connector if I could say it and there's a connector on the bottom of the module there. This connector here is a UART port, so this can be repurposed as a telemetry receiver. Yes, that's right, you can use the Bandit as a 1 watt telemetry receiver if you want for ultra long range flights. Radio Master really knows some of the more obscure features people want and they give it to them. They're great listeners in the RC community. In the box are a couple of mounting adapters, which means you can fit this into a JR slot on something like the Boxer or the TX16S. And there's another adapter here, which means you can plug it into something like a 
uh, Pocket or TX12 or even a Zorro. You just clip these on the back and screw them on and all the hardware and the tools are included in the box. Now you've got a choice of a couple of antennas with this, both are included with this module. There's this 2.7 dBi dipole T antenna, which is very nice, bends to the direction you want it, or if you want something more directional for longer range, there's this 4.6 dBi high gain directional Moxon antenna. And remember, the Moxon antennas radiate this way, so you can put it on and then you can orient that to be horizontal or vertical, however you've got the antennas mounted on your model. Now the price on this is $99.99 direct from the Radio Master website. Website links are in the video description below. Very nice little module that. Let's see what it looks like when we power it up. So let's get an antenna on there first. And I'll use my boxer for this. You can see that just fits in there very nicely. Turn it on. Oops. Welcome yeah. to Edge TX. There we go. And that should power up. What's going on here? Okay, there we go. As you can see, you've got these LED strips down here, a couple of programmable LED buttons that you can assign to various functions. And then to set things up, you just long press the joystick and you can change the packet rate, TX power, telemetry ratio, and so on. To change it, just long press the joystick and scroll to select and change the options. All very nice. Right, next up we've got this micro version. This is the same spec as the full size Bandit module but in a smaller plastic case that's designed to fit into a JR slot on your radio. It's got all the same features as the larger module, including the OLED screen and the external connectors for power from USB or XT30 from a LiPo. The only thing different is there's no active fan in here and there's no customizable buttons and you don't have the CRSF or the UART connectors on here. But you can still use this as an external one watt telemetry receiver if you want. You take those screws out of there you can get access to the PCB and there's four solder pads so you can wire that up if you want to. You only get the T antenna with this but you can buy the high gain Moxon antenna separately if you want. And the price on this is $49.99 again links to this on the Radio Master website or in the description below. Lastly is this nano version that's the same as the micro version but it's designed to fit a nano connector on something like the Radio Master Zorro or the Pocket. I've got a Pocket here. It should just slot in there like that. Very nice. Price on this is the same as the Micro. It's $49.99. But what receivers can you use with these? Well, Radio Master has, of course, thought of that. And there's a couple of new matching 915 megahertz receivers available. Let's zoom in on this a little bit. This is the BR1 and it comes with a simple whisker antenna like this or included in the box is also this T antenna and the whisker antenna is probably easier to fit to a wing or a plane and the T antenna will work nicely on a quad. You can just fix it to one of the arms. And because these are 900 meg, these antennas are much longer than the 2.4 gigahertz antennas that you might be used to. Now, this is the BR3. It's a full diversity ELRS receiver with an exceptional 500 milliwatts of telemetry power. And it comes with these two T antennas that you can orient something like that for best performance. BR1 is $19.99 and this BR3 is $24.99.
Now the EU868 MHz firmware is available for these modules, but it's not currently LBT compliant. That's listen before talk. So that affects us in the UK and some EU regions. The Bandit series was designed to be efficient at high power and it doesn't run consistently at 25 milliwatts, the legal maximum power in the UK. For that reason, Radio Master are not pursuing LBT firmware and won't be applying for CE certification for the Bandit series. For those of you that operate by the letter of the radio licensing law in the UK, this means the Bandit range is not really for you. But for those who fly sensibly and safely in the UK and are OK to push things a little bit, then it's probably not a problem. But it's your choice. Since all three modules have OLED screens and wireless connectivity, it means you don't need to have any matching Lua scripts installed on your radio. And in many ways, it's more convenient to use the setup pages on the module and all you need to do is choose the external module setting in your model on the radio and then just use this to choose whatever options you want in ELRS transmitter power, packet rate and so on. Now I suspect these modules are probably aimed mainly at long range wing pilots but it's got me thinking I've always used Crossfire on my cine lifters where reliability is very important when there's a valuable payload on board. But more recently, I've been using diversity ELRS receivers that have proved to be extremely reliable. But now these 900 meg range ELRS receivers and transmitters are available. It means I can use them in challenging locations where the better RC penetration of the lower frequency 900 meg range is a massive advantage. It might have a lower packet rate, but that's only really a benefit for fast racers. For slower cine lifter operations, I'd rather have reliability range and RC penetration. So I've been thinking these might mean goodbye TBS Crossfire for me. So as usual with Radio Master, this looks to be a fantastic range of products that I can't wait to try out when the weather improves and I'll keep you posted on progress. As always, a big thanks to Radio Master for sending these to me to have a look at and if you want to find out more detailed specs, check out the links in the video description to the Radio Master website. These really are worth a good look at if you're interested in long range, reliability and stability for your RC models. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more stuff like this and my other Whirly Bloke projects. And if you're already subscribed, thanks loads and give us a thumbs up if you found it useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.